In the next 15 minutes, you'll discover just how a helicopter flies. Every aircraft has four different forces acting on it at all times. Weight, lift, thrust, and drag. These forces act in pairs and are always in direct opposition to each other. It is these forces that we must manipulate in order for an aircraft to fly. From this list, drag, gravity, weight, resistance, lift, thrust, and air pressure. See if you can select the answer that affects the helicopter in the direction shown. Exactly. Now select the force that acts directly opposite to weight. Right. Directly opposite the force of weight is lift. If the helicopter is to fly, its weight has to be lifted off the ground. If the helicopter is to move through the air, it must have some type of propulsion. What do you think this force is called? Exactly. The force that moves the helicopter through the air is thrust. And what would be the force working against thrust? What force causes resistance to something moving through the air? Yes, in an aircraft, anything that resists movement is called drag. So to sum up, the four forces acting on an aircraft in straight and level flight are weight, lift, thrust, and drag. Weight and lift are acting vertically, while thrust and drag work horizontally. If lift is greater than weight, the helicopter will move up. If weight is greater than lift, it will move down. If thrust is more than drag, the helicopter will move forward. If there is more drag than thrust, it will slow down or stop. Okay, let's move on. The way we generate lift is through an airfoil. Airplanes have wings. Helicopters have rotary wings called rotor blades with traditional fixed-wing aircraft. The faster it moves through the air, the more lift it produces. But a helicopter can fly without any forward movement at all. It can hover. Rather than moving the whole aircraft through the air to generate lift, helicopters use rotary wings. It is this ability to separate the aircraft movement from the generation of lift that allows a helicopter the advantages of vertical takeoff and landing. Helicopters don't need runways and forward movement isn't required for the helicopter to maintain maneuverability.